Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and today we will be checking out some surface combat with Cold Waters and Dot Mod. Dot Mod adds surface ships to Cold Waters, and it is something I really have not shown off much on the channel, so I figured I would give it a spin. It is quite a lot of fun. It does have some drawbacks, obviously, because Cold Waters is mainly a submarine game. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Certain matchups, like a Iowa versus Kirov, could be fun. Anyway, enjoy the video. Here we are aboard USS Bunker Hill, a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser, and we are closing in on a Soviet landing force off the coast of Norway. We already have multiple contacts on ESM and sonar, and I'm going to turn on our radar now. And there we go. There is a lot of stuff out here. We also have an enemy helicopter, apparently, which we are going to need to take out. In our Mark 41 VLS cells, we have SM2 missiles loaded now. These SM2s are anti-ship missiles, and they are also anti-air missiles. And we already have a launch uh, from something out there. Let's go ahead and turn north. Also, let's increase speed to flank. We are going to get ready to counter fire here. I am kind of worried about that helicopter, so let's go ahead and launch a single missile towards it. Fire VLS. There we go. Missile away. And see, that is pretty darn cool. Now, the surface combat is something I haven't really shown off with Dot Mod. Oh, I'm excited to show it off. I don't know all of the intricacies of it. Hopefully, this missile lands and blows that helicopter that's closing in on our position out of the water. We have a Soviet missile closing in on us. We will get ready to defend against that. And it looks like, is this going to hit the heli? It looks like it sure is, bam. All right, splash one, helicopter taken care of. No longer an issue. We are now making turns. We're only going 14 knots in this turn. Okay, that Krivak is launching quite a few missiles. I'm not a fan of that. Let's go ahead and respond. Okay, let's go to anti-ship. All right, we will launch two. One. Two. You know what? Three. All right. Three missiles away. Heading towards the target. We have one closing in on us. Sea Wiz will automatically kick in to defend the ship. We can also deploy chaff here, which we will do as this missile approaches. That's why I wanted to turn the ship to port so that way our Sea Wiz could get a good arc on the enemy missile. And I believe these SM2s can also engage missiles. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's fire one. Hopefully it can intercept one of those missiles. Something is on fire over here, or am I just crazy? It may be the wreck. All right. Incoming missile. Ten thousand yards. It's coming in. At Krivex going insane. Here come our missiles. Let's see. Are they going to engage? No. Oh yep. Yeah. There we go. Hit the Krivex. All right. Sea Wiz is kicking in to defend the ship. Deploy chaff. There we go and took it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. The Riga will be engaged next. Fire two. Two SM2s towards her. Let's fire a third, actually. I need to make sure I'm actually... I actually have these SM2s set to anti-ship mode. We have three missiles incoming. This is going to be kind of interesting to defeat. The Krivak definitely is the primary target. And it looks like she has a pretty big hole and the amidships there, taking on water, I bet. We are now making turns for 32 knots as well. We are really booking it. All right, here we go. Missiles are closing in quickly. Let's get ready to deploy chaff. I do want to close in close enough so both of our five inch 54 caliber guns can engage. Uh, the Ticonderoga class has two, one on the bow and one on the stern, as you can see there. So that'll be fun to open up with those. All right, Sea Wiz is opening up. Chaff. 
I don't see... There it is. Okay. Looks like it went for the chaff, thank goodness. It's circling back around, though. We have two more missiles coming in. That's not good. More chaff, please. Okay, one missile defeated. Please, please, please. Okay, the chaff threw one off. Deploy more chaff. Keep deploying chaff. Okay, oh boy. I do not like the look of that. Chaff, chaff, chaff. Okay, phew. All right, one more missile defeated. We have another one coming in. And we see Wiz took it out. Love it. Okay. All right, time to retaliate. Fire one. And I want to fire in the 3D view because it's so awesome seeing the VLS fire. And let's make sure I have the correct thing set. Fire VLS. Fire VLS. And we are just going Fire to VLS. retaliate here. Fire VLS. Really engage that Krivak, which Fire looks dead VLS. in the water. Let's begin turning new heading 042. Krivak's firing another missile our way. Here we go. Let's see. Looks like this one's going for the cannon here. Impact. Beautiful. She's on fire. We have more missiles heading towards the target. Love it. And yeah, this is surface combat with dot mod. The only downside is you can only control one ship in cold water. So you have some unrealistic scenarios, but it is still a lot of fun and definitely good preparation for uh, sea power, which is coming out soon. Looks like we got another hit on Master 6. And this missile is going all wacky. Defeated. Have this one coming in. Maybe it'll pick something up. Yep. It's going for a cash and impact. And we have more launches from this freaking Krivak. Krivak is not happy. All right, beautiful. Well, we are going to continue to close. We cannot engage. We are out of firing range for our Mark 45 guns. We want to get close enough to open up with those because that's going to be good. We are continuing to close in on the laning force. It looks like this Krivak finally went down. She has been burning for a while and the crew is abandoning ship. And that is one down. A lot of other ships are just burning kind of dead in the water as we close in. However, Master 8, this potty is really trying to uh, be a hero of the Soviet Union. And we are going to gun them down with our 5-inch guns. Let's open fire. And our gun is training over. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's already so cool. The fact that this is a mod is just amazing. And there we go. One of our five inch guns is engaging. I think our stern mount is out of arc and the firing rate on these five inch 54 caliber guns is extremely impressive. And let's see, are any of those rounds landing close? She is pretty close, but then again, it is a rather small target. So we'll see, oh, okay. Gunnery is pretty accurate, I will say. I would uh, be turning around at this point. Uh, but we will continue to engage. As a matter of fact, let's change course slightly. New heading. New heading, zero, zero, five degrees. Let's bring that stern mount into action. I love it. I love it. Let's see if the stern mount will swing around here soon. That's just too cool, though. I will definitely be doing more surface ship content in cold waters because this is pretty fun and you can have some pretty cool matchups, I think. There we go. Stern Mount is swinging around. Rudder amidships. If it's an arc, we'll let it open fire. Let's look at our friend here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she is just getting absolutely bracketed. Is the Stern Mount engaging? There we go. Love to see it. Love to see it.
Well, we have stopped the potty's valiant charge. She is turning around. Let's hold fire with our guns. Hold fire and begin turning back Don't towards Zero, six, our three, friends no here. Nine. Let's see how they're doing. This one's burning pretty poorly. I just heard an explosion. Was that a secondary from somewhere? Things are still exploding. It looks like their ability to actually engage us has been significantly reduced. And it looks like this one has been hit as well. Okay, let's go ahead and follow up with a few more strikes here. Let's engage this Riga. Yeah, she's pretty much dead in the water. Let's also engage you. And this Cashin. Let's just finish off some of these guys. And you know what? Let's also go for... Okay, first off, look at that. Just how cool is this? Let's also engage uh, the transports. There we go. All right, heading towards the targets. Master 8, I mean, she got tore up. Not looking good. All right, here we go. Let's watch our missiles land home. This Riga is hopefully going to get hit. Yep, there we go. Impact, that's it, she's done for. Where are you going? Looks like, are they really trying to defend? Yep, they are defending themselves with Sea Wiz. Impact, love it. Just lots of, gosh, I would not want to be in this landing fleet. This is absolutely brutal. There we go, another hit there. We're starting to lose contacts. So lots of fires breaking out. Let's see, where are you going for? It looks like this one's going for something. Something, we're just continuing to hit them. Pretty much every Soviet ship here is burning and on fire. Thankfully, we were able to defend against the initial onslaught. I guess I should have made this fleet a little more dangerous. I was kind of worried because I was going to be so outnumbered. Um, but the next mission I make will be, we'll be going up some against some more challenging uh, opponents. But because this is kind of a turkey shoot at this point, but that's all part of the fun. Um, okay, this potty's getting a little frisky. She is engaging us. <laughs> so, uh, begin returning fire. Like, what do you think this is? Oh, dear. Damage control. All right. Looks like we have some damage here. Oh my gosh, we're dead in the water. All right. All right, I'm done messing around with you. I can't believe she actually did that. Blow this thing out of the water. I can't believe we're completely dead in the water. Damage control's working on it. Alright. Our 5-inch guns are opening up. How rude. Okay. You can see our splashes nearby. This missile is going to absolutely destroy her. Yeah. See you later, punk. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was some unexpected excitement. All right. Damage control is working. Pulls at 91%. We're okay. Still rounds in flight here. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're all right, though. Bow sonar is damaged as well. Uh, you know what? Let's just uh, fire some more rounds here. The more missiles towards the the enemy here. Fire really BLS. finish the job and get that Fire that damage BLS. under control. It's interesting we went automatically to a dead stop though. That's kind of odd. It looks like uh, we're almost repaired. However, I am worried. There's also quite a few uh, neutral contacts in the area. Like, this German trawler is just sailing through the middle of a combat zone as missiles fly overhead, and that has to be lovely. Okay, Master 6 is about to get one. Have fun with that. There we go. Engines are repaired. Increase speed to flank again. Thank you. And, okay, Riga taken out, Cashin taken out. Yeah, we are just... Contacts breaking up left and right. 
Oh, there we go. All right. Pretty much everything's on fire, just burning. Let's close in for guns. It looks like everything left is um, landing ships. So, although, I mean, they are pretty heavily armed as we can see, and it's kind of dangerous to get close to, but what the heck, why not? Master 1 is a Ugra closing in on our position. We are in a range for guns. Let's begin firing. We also have some harpoons we can fire. And you know what? Let's go ahead and fire those. Let's showcase that. Uh, we'll shoot at Master 2. There we go. There goes a harpoon. Let's shoot another one towards Master 3 here. Another harpoon away. As you can see, our Mark 45 gun is engaging Master 1. Harpoons are in flight. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, enemy Sea Wiz doesn't take these out. Hopefully, we'll be okay, though. I'm going to keep closing in on the targets. So only one of our guns will be able to prosecute the target, but we're already getting some pretty close hits here. Okay, harpoons successfully engaged two and destroyed both ships. Our guns are continuing to engage Master 1. I accidentally had them engage Master 2 for a second. But uh, now we are going to have our harpoons go for these two ships. We have a, looks like an oiler and also a Rapucha class LSD trying to get the heck out of here. Two harpoons will be fired in their direction. All right, let's shoot one and shoot two. All right, two harpoons away. Good luck. And let's make sure our guns are still engaging you. Fire at will. There we go. And we should open fire here in a second. Beautiful, there we go. Okay, things are getting out of hand here. Let's change course. <laughs> this this Ugra decided to open fire <laughs> right as we got into range there. I didn't realize we were closing into her gun range and she just let it roll. Look at that. <laughs> How awesome is that though? Yeah, so it's pretty fun uh, evading, uh, quite frankly. Honestly, I mean, Normally, I wouldn't get this close, but uh, I kind of wanted to showcase uh, what it's like. Being under attack is half the fun in this and evading enemy missiles. But we finally took her out. The Ugra is going down, and that is an entire Soviet uh, landing force destroyed. Heck yeah. Loads of fun. Loads of fun. Definitely going to be doing more of this in the near future. Well, folks, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. Also, let me know what kind of surface combat action you would like to see in Cold Waters with Dot Mod. Anyway, until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.